Special shout out to my members and patrons Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlo, The Hellraiser, Harrington, I Am Beast, Jelly Beams, Call Me Yumi, Jim Bones, MDS 84ZA, Bilalco, and Kilabunnies 264 for your amazing support. Members and patrons get shout outs on all my videos, get access to a private Discord channel, and access to my Seven Days I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Simnes that I Apocalypse Now mod. So last episode, we worked a little bit on our base. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this one's so much weaker. The stamina stuff is higher. This thing has just way more mods on. Um, let's just use the steel one. I think the steel's gonna be better for us right now. We're gonna go for this and perhaps the Iron Breaker. Because of steel, it should be uh, doing more damage against wood anyway, so that's fine. Let's just put these away for now and then put this away for now. Okay, so um, we have our chem station now, so we can make uh, make ink at a, a lower price, which is awesome. Uh, which also means we need clothes. We actually need ink. Okay, we have all this smelted in. I actually have some steel and forged iron and stuff over here because I'm slowly but surely building that up. But the problem is, I need a better concrete mixer. At the moment, you make sa uh, sand to st uh, from stone two to one ratio, so you use two stone for each one sand. That is expensive. Um, it's 25 food, 29 food, 31 food. Okay, I think I can eat one more of that. Should probably keep this food. Uh, I have these on me. Why don't I eat that first? <laughs> I should have just eaten those first and let me know if we have it. Okay, so I'm making more concrete as well. Um, I want to go... One, either do quests. Or two, let's go to Boulder Bros and to the clothing shop. I can't remember where the clothing shop is. So we're going to have to go drive around a bit. Uh, but yeah, if we can find the clothing shop, we might get lucky with a lot of dye. Uh, because last time we were there, we were chased away. We just couldn't handle all the tough zombies. This time around, we are a little bit stronger and we're better, a little bit better geared. If I find a um, shotgun store as well, I'm going to try and go for that too. Because we actually need uh, a better better weapons, yeah. So if, even though it's a shotgun store, we don't go over there for the shotguns. We go there for the zombies. I mean, for the, the other gun parts, not just the shotgun parts. Okay, uh, I have everything on me that I need. Should probably make some repair kits as well. So the horde base is starting to look well. Um, at day 21, we should be fine. Uh, we removed the cheese now, so now I just have to go and upgrade the rest and add the stairs. But that just means we need resources. We just need resources right now. Okay, we can do this one clear quest over here. Oh, this bike is fast. Nice, we finally have a proper, proper bike. We've been stuck with a, uh, mini, um, the motorcycle, the mini bike, for so long. That now that we have a proper motorcycle, this thing is... It's called a cruiser, and we are cruising. <laughs> Wait, is this the same PUI? No, it's slightly different than we went, uh, the one we did earlier. It's still super dangerous, so we need to be careful. There might even be a dog back here. Okay, that uh, soldier over there needs to stay away. I think they just focus on clearing this place. We're gonna go for- oh, you know what? When we're clearing a place, I should at least make sure we go for all of the clothing uh, things. Like any clothes that might be inside and obviously also lockers. This is an easy way for us to get some uh, clothing. Nice, too brown. I think even with the brown, any dye right now- ooh, nice, we just got a, a few flares as well. Medicine, okay. Uh, but yeah. So the thing we really need to focus on right now is just getting dye, 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 dye. And with all of that, we'll be able to make ourselves a ton of ink and more class papers and stuff. So our goal right now is just to get as much stuff as possible. Every time you see clothing, go for it. Where's that wolf? I can't tell on which side the wolf is. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I'd rather do this and have you sneak up on me later. I don't have anything inside my vehicle, right? I should have enough space to just grab everything that I need right now. Yeah, this pure eye is exactly the same as- Oh, shit, but... Almost said something a lot different. Very different. Okay, we're gonna call all the zombies in the area right now, but we need to kill that beam. Oh, it's stuck. It's bugged. Yay. Okay, uh, yeah, I didn't hit him properly just now, so that might be a problem. Is, did I catch him? I don't know if I actually hit him with that. 
He's bugged since he went to the window, so now I just I, I can I kill him a little bit easier. The fact that we're getting a behemoth just spawning in the middle of nowhere like that. I'm just hoping because he's bugged out like that, he's not going to make it up here easier. Why are you just standing there? He gets stuck in the pool, but there is a staircase over there. If I can make him get stuck in the pool, I can put a uh, block in front so he doesn't get out. And then we can deal with him that way. I'm going to have to make some noise. As soon as he gets close, I'm going to have to use my shotgun. So all the feral whites and stuff in the area are also going to respond. Okay, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. He's finally awake. There was a feral white to the right. And now he's also going to come for us. So see, since he's in the water, I should probably go put a block over there so he can't get out. You can't jump out the... Oh, there's a ladder over there. Okay, yeah. That, there goes my plan. I thought I might be able to put a block there so that he can't get, use the stairs. But there is a bloody ladder over there. What I could do is I should probably take care of these first. Why is that dude not coming for us? If I can lock him into the water again, we can quickly run and put a few blocks up and above that so he can't make it out. If we can get him stuck in the water, they're slower in water, so we'll be able to do more damage to him. As this is a shotgun, look how little damage we're doing to it. The fact that even our sleepers are turning into behemoths right now is a very scary thing for me. Nice, we have nice reach over here, look at that. Technically, I'm uh, too late. So you can't make it out of here. That dude is just a decaying zombie. Decaying zombie. Oh man, I wanted to deal with him quickly while he's still in the water. But I was afraid that these guys might interfere. If he stands on that frame over there, he might actually be able to smack me. Let's kill him before Screamer starts showing up. I've been making a little bit too much noise. I can't get too far away from the POI, otherwise I failed the quest. But with the amount of shotgun shots I just had to do, at least we can get away now. If there's another one, uh, let me just do this quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stamina! We do this, and we do this. Now if they fall in, they won't be able to use the stairs. Or the ladder, I mean. Okay, for those who don't know, there's actually a hidden stash back there. You'd be careful though, if we had one behemoth, we might get more. Whew. Okay, unfortunately this is a clear quest, so we can't just uh, fetch the fetch, and then if we die, we at least have the fetch and we don't fail the quest. The top rooms, oh man, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I'm actually terrified. Doesn't seem like there's a zombie over there, but there's going to be a zombie inside of this wall over here. That is a departed woman. Okay, radiated. She's not too bad. Be careful because one hit from these zombies can kill me. I'll rather run away and come back than try and face them and be the hero and just end up dying. I wonder if you can get die from these cabinets and stuff. I know you can get food and stuff, but can you get dies? Because that's all I really, really. Oh, I do need cheese and stuff for more cheeseburgers, hamburgers. Yeah, let's just do this. Now that I know we can make hamburgers and stuff, I just want to grab all of that. Yeah, we need to be careful. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. That's a better pistol than one we have. So there might be a vulture outside on the roof. That's, uh, that's going to be a problem. The final room is this one right here. And then the weaker rooms over here. So we'll do the weaker rooms first. Come on. Jump down. I want for them to burn right now. 
many of you guys all day? Damn. I'm gonna have to shoot him with a shotgun. We might be able to make it back uh, out the back of here. Whoa! Ooh, that hit me just now. Is this dude, yeah, he's part of the kill crew. He's a tough spider. What a fault for that cop to hit me right now. I'm just glad she's not a real screamer. Yeah, you can explode over here by the water, I don't mind. Oh, hello, loot bag. Oh, Mega Molotovs! Fortnite's gonna be so much easier. Guys, you want the Mega Molotov. It has way, way, way more reach. There's a little zombie back there. Uh, the Mega Molotov has way more reach than a normal Molotov. So if you throw, for example, a normal Molotov, all the zombies in this room might be, uh, might catch on fire. But a Mega Molotov, definitely, because of the range. The fact that we just found that, that is awesome! Okay, this bathroom leads to this one over here, so you need to be careful. Zombies love surprising you by jumping through the walls. Ooh, green dye, nice. I just want to go to the, the other place and get ourselves some more... dyes. We have to go for that store. It's super dangerous, but we need the dyes badly. Unfortunately, my level is too low to make ourselves, um, steel bolts. I can make uh, iron bolts, but I'm not a high enough level to make steel bolts. The moment I can make steel bolts, I'll be able to one-shot these zombies a lot easier as well. Okay, let's just scrap so what we can scrap. Read that, scrap that. Oh, Rizzo's sword. It's a shame you can't combine, like in Darkness Falls, combine your weapons. But that Rizzo sword, uh, remember, just because it is like a few levels higher doesn't mean it is stronger. So mine's level 31, that one's level four, uh, 34, but that doesn't mean that one is better. Sometimes it can actually still be weaker. And do this. Okay, so we are done with this place. It's almost nighttime again. <laughs> I need to get, uh, get to the clothing shop as soon as possible. And actually, actually, also just scrap and get rid of we don't, what we don't need right now, but technically we need all of this stuff. There's nothing really that I see over here that we really don't need. These might give us a ton of medical supplies, so I can't even open that up. If I open it up and it gives us too much medical stuff, uh, we won't be able to have enough space on us. It's an airdrop. I wonder if I shouldn't quickly go for that airdrop. There might be some really good loot in it. I don't know how far away it is, but at least now with a cruiser we'll be able to get there in no time. You'll probably also just take a first aid bandage. I need to keep some uh, painkillers on me because they also instantly heal you. They do take water away, but I mean, we do have water. And especially if we bring the mineral water with us, we don't have to worry about the water effect. Because we need the water and we need the energy boost. I need to be careful not get stuck on anything right now. Okay, so it seems it's on the other side of my base. Oh, it might be by the base itself. Look at this. Oh no, I was looking at the quest marker just now. I was like, oh wow, it's right there. Crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on, lag, 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 lag. Okay, that is a killer chicken again. Damn it, man. Hostile chicken. As you guys can see, it's not the easiest to hit as well. I swear, if that was another hostile... The way he was eyeing me up and down just now, I was like, ooh, am I a piece of meat or something? While we're here, we can just walk really drop stuff, but I want to hand this in. We can get some coin, and then we're going to go to that bunker. It all in one place. But if you okay, do, Crippler mod? Yeah, why it. not? Um, Hunter's Journal? Is it the Hunter's Journal? or uh, What journal? Oh, it's the Ranger's Journal, number four I need. Oh, damn. Military Armor Schematic. I want to make my own military armor, too. Okay, I'm just going to accept like one now. I'm not going to do it right now. And let's just quickly drop weapon. everything, and then we're going to go for this airdrop. Okay, so before we go, I want to drop this outside. 
So it's gonna, uh, it's gonna cool down the airdrops, and then when we get back, it should be done. And then you... Guys, this Rizzo Sword is slightly, slightly better than the weak one we had. So I was like, you know, it's, uh, if, if it's just even the tiniest bit better, we're gonna use it. So now while we wait for that to come down, we can quickly go get the airdrop. And then I wanna go to the bunker as well. Oh yeah, I picked up the vehicle. I wanna go to the bunker as well, uh, because just now there's more gear over there. We have 6.7k to spend. It's not much. But yeah, hopefully the bunker actually has some Molotovs and some ammo for us that we can use later. My mistake for the day 14 Nord was the fact that we didn't have ammo. I, I completely spaced on the ammo. I was just focusing on making the base. Uh, also, the resource collector was just done with resources. And I'm able to make like 400 more concrete mix now thanks to that. So yay. Unfortunately, it didn't give me concrete mix itself, which is always awesome. Because then you don't have to make it. But at least now we do have more concrete mix crafting. So as soon as we get back to the base, we might even be able to do some uh, base building. But I do want to go for those stores. The problem is now it's going to be nighttime, going to be harder. So damn, unfortunately. Crappy. Oh, oh, you use 762, right? Oh, now I don't have to make an AK. Nice. Chuck an ammo, TNT. Nice. I don't have to make an AK anymore. That is actually a welcome surprise. Okay, so that bunker is down there. I actually want to get this over here. Sometimes this place has... Make sure there's no zombie spawning over here. Sometimes it has a um, car box. And other times it just has a normal box like this. There has to be more of these bunkers as well. I think I should actually just drive on the outskirts of town. And on the map, see what the uh, this one looks like. And see if I can't find more of that on the map. Sometimes it's, it's just so hidden. Oh, look at this, guys. You're looking for this camouflage thing with a vault door. In my last series, I actually made a base on top of this. And then down here, you have vending machines. You can buy some really good loot from this as well. Gunpowder? Oh, I want to buy it. With the gunpowder, we can make more 762 and more um, shotgun ammo. Especially now that we have this gun. We'll be able to repair it and we'll be able to use this as a Horde Knight gun. That's way better than our current weapon. Okay, nothing over here that I really need. There might be something awesome in between here, guys, but we also have to think about cash. We don't have the cash to just buy every... Look at that, 4.3. I really want this. Okay, we're gonna go for 30 for now. 35, I see. 34. Okay, we need to go buy and sell more stuff, and then we can buy food. We can buy queen bees. I'm guessing the queen bee, you can make your own um, honey thing. And then we need to see if we can't buy more and uh, first aid kits or first aid bandages. Oh, drone! You reset day 21. It's now day 19. I need 4k cash. I need to buy this drone. 4.4. If I saw this first, I would have bought it instantly. It helps you carry stuff, so it's just less that you have to worry about. Damn, you are noisy. Okay, so yeah, uh, we need to see what this looks like on the map. I'll have to take the marker away, and I need to be away from here to be able to see. But did you see what that looks like? It looks like a small square with like a hole in. So it looks like that, but with like a small black hole. There might be more of these on the map, and if there is, we have to mark it. This resets day 21, so I have to rename this now. I'm gonna mark it to the side of it. Uh, bunker 21. There's a mini bear over there. See, this small bear can also be a really big uh, nuisance. Oopsie. Probably keep the lights off of here. And then you guys won't be able to see because I didn't bring my night vision goggles. Is that? Oh, yeah, it's a bear cub. It's fast, it's strong, it's gonna be a problem. But what I need right now is clothing. It's nighttime, so we're not encumbered as well, so that's awesome. What I'm hoping for is the fact that we can get like a ton of uh, dyes. Remember, we need four of each color dye. Or any color dye, just four. As long as we have four. Oof. As long as we have four, we can make uh, we can make inks. And the more inks we can make, the more class papers we can make. That way we don't have to scrap the, the, the dyes for ink. Probably loot these as well, but what am I gonna find?
I'm gonna wake up all this uh, place of zombies, so I need to be careful right now. I wonder if I can make the bear sense them first. So instead of me having to fight them, the bear can fight them. That was close. Okay, if he hits me, he's gonna set me on light, so I need to be careful of that. Those of you who don't know, this is an Inferno Cop, and he's a radiated Inferno Cop. Inferno just means if he hits you, it's fire. I mean, Inferno, everyone knows Inferno is fire, so... As long as you're just uh, aware of him, you can be safe. Should I kill him? This is a Wandering Horde now. Then this might just be nighttime zombies that heard the commotion. Although this is a ton of nighttime zombies, they're not feral or tough, so they can't be a Wandering Horde. I'm gonna kill that bear because I just know that bear's gonna come for me. Okay, these are all nighttime zombies, but at least we can take them easily. Because they're decaying. If they're the Wandering Horde, they'd be tough and feral and radiated and stuff. I'd be, yeah, that one's ferals. So I have to be careful of some of them. Just because it's nighttime doesn't mean we're not gonna get any ferals. But nighttime is when most ferals come out. So the fact that we're getting so many normal decaying ones and weak ones is actually kind of weird. Almost hit me! Probably be drinking my coffee as well. I have to probably kill all of these. If they're out of the way, we don't have to worry about zombies. But the problem is going to be this bloody bear, which is where? He's attacking a zombie over there, nice. Do your thing, zombie bear! Well, no, technically, I want the zombie to win. I can kill a zombie easily, but the bear I'm going to have to shoot. It doesn't look like these are going to be worth much. I just need clothes right now, so I'm going to focus on getting clothes. I'm interested in the dyes, it's not whatever uh, else is in this place. I need to be careful though, because there's going to be way more zombies. See, clothing with dye on and dyes, that's what we're looking for right now. We can make, uh, we can make ourselves some ink with way cheaper prices. It's basically half the price. As long as I can make sure that we um, uh, get like four of each color, we can make ink for our books at half the price. And that's a major, major, major win for us. Come on, have die on you, damn it. No die, no die. Anything without die, we're just going to immediately scrap. Unless it has uh, white die on, but that's not white die. Those have die on, nice. So our goal right now is just to find as many pants as possible that have the same color die. Technically, I can also go and just um, take the dyes off. I think you might even be able to make bundles in this mod as well, right? I'm not sure. Already had one zombie fall out over there, so is this also a zombie? I want to be careful not to stir too much trouble over here. So that just now is dumb because I stood up and I made way too much noise. The one that I just want to cut away and just grab as much clothing as possible, but I want to do this with you guys. Because anything might happen at any time, and then I panic and I don't get it on camera. And these days, the game jump scares me way too easily. See, the problem is, if you are crouching, you loot slower. So to loot faster, you have to stand up, but then you make noise. That's the whole point of uh, crouching down like this, is to not make noise. So for those of you new to Seminaries that I, basically, if you crouch, you make half the sound, but you take twice as long to loot something. Obviously, at the moment, I'm more uh, interested in just not making sound, because I know there's still a ton of cops and stuff in here. That pants, I think those pants are just, yeah, there's no dye on that one. Those are businessmen clothes. Feral soldier, hello, hello, hello. immediately crouch after to make sure no one heard me just now. The final stash is in there, guys, but you have to be careful because behind those panels, white panel, white panel, white panel, they are zombies. 
when you go in there, just like the zombies falling out the roof of here, they fall down on you. So if you want to be safe, I don't need this, but we can sell it. If you want to be safe, make sure that you are aware that the zombies can fall down on your head. Even over here, the fact that the soldiers fell on me, and now I know there's no zombie over here. Because the, uh, the feral soldier fell from there. Higher footsteps. Hello, my lady. Bye-bye, my lady. I'm gonna make as less, a little noise as possible. Like I said, there are some more cops and stuff in here. You can actually hear the breathing of the sleeping sleepers over here. I think we're getting a ton of dye right now. That's what I'm looking for. We have quite a bit of... Um, Papers. Up, oh, hello. There's even a feral white in there. Probably use a Molotov. We have Molotovs. I've gotten so far right now, I don't want to give up. If I run outside, we might actually get the attention of more zombies from the outside. As we know, this side is clear. If I can just bring them back and forth, let them- Oh, that's a bear! The bear made it inside. Is that bear attacking me now, or them? Trap! No, no, jump! Oh, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh, bloody hell! Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Bloody hell! He literally pinned me down just now. I couldn't move at all. Ooh, I'm getting the chills right now, just because I know that could have been so much worse. The problem is that bear inside now, is he attacking them or me? I actually heal myself with the first aid kit, not the bandages. Okay, he's dead, but my stamina's running low. I have 6% fatigue. Uh, apparently the fatigue only really matters at like 10% plus. But with how tough these zombies are, I think it might, it might matter a little bit sooner. Or more than you think. Did they kill the bear? Nope, they did not. They did not. Okay, fun. At least not a screamer bear. In Ways UK, you actually get uh, these small ones, but screamer versions of them. Like red ones with like veins and stuff. And if they scream, they uh, bring all of their friends with them, just like a screamer zombie. Damn, he dodged that one just now. I need to wait for after he swings his paw. That way I'm insured to actually hit him. Or assured to hit him, I mean. That's a wandering horde. Let me just turn this light off. Get away, go away, go away. Oof, they're taking trees down in their path. That's how powerful they are. It seems the tougher ones. That's a demo at the back. It seems behind her just now. It looks like something big's moving. Yep, that is a behemoth. Oh, it's a demo. That's a behemoth. The big one, the more powerful ones are always at the back, and then the weaker ones are in the front. If it was daytime, I'd definitely try and kill them for the XP. Well, now I'm just going to make sure that we get the last bit of that um, die. Come on. Guys, I know it's uh, a little bit dark, but I just want to do this until we are done with this place. Uh, as soon as we get back in there, I'll turn the light back on. Come on, you know what? Can I jump two blocks high? No, I can't. So we'll do that. We'll do this. I need to make sure that the zombies have a lead on me because I have a flaming sword in my hand. I need to be careful, the wandering water is now dispersing a bit. So it is going to come inside of here if we're not careful. So make sure this gun is reloaded just in case we need it. But yeah, um, guys, I'm just going to grab all the uh, clothes. Even if it's uh, white clothing that we don't need, I'm going to grab it. Probably be standing and doing this fast. Yeah, let's just stand. We already have so much dye and so much clothing on us that we don't have to worry too much about making noise and not being able to come back. Also, besides, this room over here is now clear because the zombies already 
activated. This over here had me though. He pinned me into the wall and I couldn't move. Radiated feral um, biker and I couldn't move at all. There's definitely more zombies in those rooms over there, so I technically don't want to make too much noise. But I'd rather make noise and just grab as much as I can while I'm here. And if I have to run away, I'll run away. I say as I immediately go back to crouching. <laughs> Guys, last time, I, I need to make sure we grab all of these. Last time we were here, uh, we it didn't really go that well. We were chased away because we were way, way too weak. Now that we're strong enough to actually do this, I want to make sure we grab all the dyes we can. With that chem station, we're going to have half the price of... Oh, there's more clothes in there, but you know there's going to be ferals. It might even be a behemoth in the changing room. But yeah, we're going to half the price of inks. So instead of using eight dyes, which gives you ten inks each, you're now only going to use uh, four dyes. So that's 40, uh, 40 ink. Well, 40 paints, I mean. Yeah, eight dyes used to give us 80 paints, but now, only, uh, now we only need four dyes, which is 40 paint. There you go. Now I said it right. I think as soon as we have this wall over here, I'm going to go back to the base and just make sure that I make the paints. Crap. It almost sounds like he's inside of here. Um, make wood. I need some space quickly. If I had that drone, I could just quickly pop the stuff into the drone. But I don't have something that convenient, so now I'm stuck with this. I can only grab so much more. Okay. So while we're here, let's just make sure we grab everything we can, and then we're gonna run. That cop does though sound it, it does sound like he's right on top of us right now. Okay, they just woke up as well. Okay, we should be done for now. There's some more dye over here and more clothing over here, but guys, we are full. We can't grab any more. At least we know that if we needed more, we could come back. There's a behemoth. Oh crap. No, no, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't you dare bloody hit me. So the Wandering Horde has finally moved on a bit. I need to pick up that frame and then... Just because... Oh, crap. Just because the... Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Just because I, I had to do the bear. Oh, that was so close right now. I was steering with my keyboard for some reason, not my mouse, so I couldn't uh, steer properly. Oh, I apologize for screaming in your ears just now, but man, <laughs> see, that was what I was afraid of. The Wandering Horde was moving out a bit. Oh, man, my whole body is now shaking. Okay, guys, I'm going to go back and I drop all this. Oh, there's another store right here. Oh, this is the one we couldn't finish last time. But yeah, we're definitely going to come back for all of these uh, dyes over here because, I mean, we just got quite a bit. And we need as many as possible, so we're definitely coming back. But if you guys like this episode, please hit like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback, leave them down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Apocalypse Now Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.